it's since I've spoken to you. I think it's been July since I officially put up a video. Um, yeah, I mean, I did put up a school haul, but that was kind of like filmed in advance. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's been a long time. So anyway, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of update of what's been happening. Sorry, I'm in such a good mood today. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update about uh, what's been happening since August, I suppose, uh, July, August kind of time. Okay, so uh, in July, uh, there wasn't really much uh, going on. It was just the summer holidays, so I was just kind of like studying for school, nervous about my exam results coming, all that kind of stuff. Um, going to August, um, and we have my exam results. Um, this was the big month for me is August. Um, I had my exam results, and I got one C, one B, and I got three fails because I failed all my hires. Kind of down, you know, it's from last year I, where I got two Bs, two Cs and two fails but I got national fours instead of national fives. If you're Scottish, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, but yeah, uh, that was kind of a disappointment this year. But I'm going to try hard and get those five hires next year. I mean, five hires, I must be mental to be sitting five hires after I've just failed three. But gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I also had my uh, spinal appointment in Edinburgh because it had been moved up and I was at like probably the top of the waiting list I'm guessing because it came out so quickly it was like two weeks later and I got my appointment for Edinburgh for the, the spine uh, I got the Royal where did I go I went to the Royal Children's Ho Hospital for sick kids I can't remember what it's called I think that's roughly what it's called in Edinburgh I went there and they had a look at my spine and they said basically people at my old um, hospital that I went to before that I told you I need surgery and things they basically had just scared me and I don't need surgery because I was three degrees three degrees I repeat that three degrees <laughs> off of needing surgery so um, if it gets worse obviously I can go back and it'll be, they'll look at it they'll take an x-ray they'll be like okay if it has increased you'll need surgery but they say um it will grow maybe one two degrees you know like a year or, or so at uh, each time um but it shouldn't be too bad if it gets worse obviously just come back so um i've been discharged from there and i have to just like take care of it myself They say pain-wise it is my scoliosis but they, they call it a nuisance pain and they're saying uh, yoga, um, keeping just fit and having a good diet would help um, and things like um, physio, If I, uh, I'm still waiting on physio, I mean that's taking forever um, if they give me exercise and stuff just to keep updated with that and it should help so we'll see how it goes <laughs> at the point just now Three months later, it's still the same. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, trying to think, what else? Um, I went, yeah, I went back to school, um, and I've been really, really uh, busy with school. And I actually got accepted into college when, I, which I wasn't accepting, which I wasn't expecting, um, because you need a hire to get into college. That's their like en minimum entry requirement. But no, I got an email and I'm like, oh hey, come along because you've been accepted. And I was like, oh, okay. So now that's a fifth hire I've got and I've been accepted in college. So I'm doing college and school. It's kind of like a school link kind of thing. Um, I'm standing up if you're wondering why I'm moving so much. Um, I also had my heart appointment at that other hospital that I'm on about. And they still need to send me for my heart scan at the bigger hospital that's a few miles away from me. Well, not a few miles, it's like 30 miles away from me. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting on that appointment come through. That's just like my annual, um, well, my six month checkup because it's not not annual anymore. It's six months now. Um, they check my heart and the aorta size and stuff like that. So I still have that, but uh, they they listened to my heart and took my blood pressure and they said my blood pressure was a little bit low, but um, no, it was a little bit high. Sorry, and my heart rate was alright, was okay. So. That's good news there. Uh, 
moving into September, um, not really much going on. I sorry, kind of got like a list here because obviously my memory is not the best. Um, so yeah, I attempted to start yoga, but it didn't really go well. So I've not been back. Um, work, school, college. My general life is just work, college, and no social life. <laughs> so, yep, that's been going on. And oh, and I also had Comic Con on the 24th and the 25th. And I also met Tomska again and Andrew Lee Potts. And I met a few other people that I really wanted to uh, meet. And I'll probably insert pictures somewhere in this video. Um, so you can see, I dressed up as, uh, I don't know if you guys know, uh, a manga called Tokyo Ghoul. I've actually got all the books over there um, that you obviously can't see. <laughs> I've got them all uh, so far, like the equivalent of season one, I suppose. And I dressed up as Toka, or Toka, I can't really pronounce her name. Um, yeah, so that was interesting. And then the second day, I just put down the full whiskers on and me and my friend went round with whiskers on our face and only like two people noticed who we were uh, dressing up as. So <laughs> yeah, it was really fun though. And we had a sleepover and just a hell of a time. It was amazing. I was still buzzing days afterwards. So yeah, highly recommend Comic Con if it's near you at all. <laughs> um, October, I had work, school, college, blah, 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 all the same again and October holidays which I'm still currently on until next week and then I go back to college and school. So I'm still off at the moment. Um, the 7th, just like the last day of school before we came off for holidays, I actually had a motorbike crash. Um, just me, no other vehicles. I just took a corner too fast and I went straight into a boulder and I had to get six stitches, six paper stitches should I say, on my knee. Uh, they fell off like five days afterwards and it's still healing at the moment, um, like two weeks later. But you know, now I've learned, I mean, it's gonna cost loads to get my bike back together, but it's my own fault and I'll learn that for next time. So yeah, don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> but it did hurt and I've still got bruises to this day. Like there's one on my arm somewhere. No, you can't see it, but I've got bruises everywhere <laughs> still from that accident. Um, I heal very slowly. I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> I don't know. It could be due to my Marfans, maybe, because that's a connective tissue disorder. So, don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, and I also failed my theory test, which I had, like, last week, I think it was. Yes, last Tuesday, I had my theory test, and I failed it. But that was the first time sitting, and I failed by one mark on my hazard perception. So, I've been practicing ever since then, and I'm rebooking it, actually, tomorrow. Um... So wish me luck, and um, yeah, that's all really. Um, if you want to know anything else about me, just put the questions in the comments or uh, message me via Instagram or like comment on one of my uh, Twitters or anything. Um, so yeah, if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's CB Martin. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's no, what is it? It's Cupcakes. Oh no, Kick Cupcakes Fifty Five for Twitter and Snapchat. For Instagram, it's Sibby Martin, and obviously here on YouTube, it's Sibby Martin as well. So, um, yeah, guys, um, let me know how you've been getting on for the last few months. And I want to also say, um, quickly, uh, everybody that commented on my surgery video, I'm sorry to disappoint me, disappoint you, and you know, say like I'm not having surgery anymore, unless it obviously gets worse in the future. Um, and that was a medical error, so obviously I couldn't help that. It wasn't my fault. Um, but I just want to say I'm so grateful for all the comments that you left me saying good luck and um, there's a few people that just went on just had surgery like a couple of weeks ago that commented on my videos and I want to say I hope your recovery is going well and I hope the best for your future like I I really appreciate it so um, anyway guys I will see you next time um, so bye